What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Kari, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. As if you guys haven't seen enough early pairs already, today we are talking about one of the most highly anticipated Air Jordans to come out in 2021. And yes, I'm saying that here in January, anticipating this February release, but I'm still pretty sure that this is going to end up on most people's top tens. Without further ado, let's get into it. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2021 Air Jordan 6 Carmine. What else is there to say about the Air Jordan 6 Carmine that hasn't already been said? Do we talk about its legacy? Do we talk about the history? Do we talk about some unknown facts? You know what? Yes, we're gonna talk about all three. Let's dive into it. All right guys, starting with the upper of the sneaker here, classic Air Jordan 6 Carmine upper. Now, a lot of people have been saying, and I will agree that the hue, the color of the red of this sneaker is a deeper red than we have seen in previous years. Of course, you have kind of the standard white leather that's going all around the sneaker on the embedded kind of hidden MJ that's on the side panels on the lateral and medial side of the sneaker here. Again, the leather is, it's decent. I mean, it's nothing really to write home about, but it's okay. You get that standard new buck quarter panel here and in the mid panels as well on the mud guards of the sneaker going down into the side panels and around the toe box as well. Classic deep red carmine new buck. Very, very nice. Taking a top down look at the sneaker here, it's actually kind of interesting. Again, you get another view of that Jordan 6. You get that classic Air Jordan 6 shroud with the black stitched Jumpman right in the middle. On the Dubray here, you actually get one of the OG Dubrays. Of course, everything on this sneaker is all about OG, from the shape to the details to the Dubray. And it's very, very nice. Now, you get a Nike just like the OG on one side. Flip that over. You also get the Jumpman on the other side of that. So it's really, really nice. Classic Air Jordan Jordan 6 tongue, but the interesting thing about this tongue is that a lot of people have said that it's actually a little bit higher than the 2014 and the 2008 versions of the Carmines, and I would have to agree. It really is pretty much OG height, especially when you turn it to the side like this. Everything with this sneaker, especially down to the shape of the sneaker and even the height of the tongue, is true to the OG form from 1991. Classic black and white Air Jordan 6 midsole. Moving around to the heel of the shoe. This is the money right here. This is where it's at right here. Nike Air, the OG classic Nike Air stitched in red on the heel of the shoe. For the first time since 1991, in 30 years, we finally get Nike Air stitched on the back of the shoe. Wow. Of course, right above the Nike Air, you have that Porsche 911 inspired pull tab with that red bar going across it. Nothing different there, still just as dope. Moving around to the outsole of the sneaker, classic Air Jordan 6 outsole with that big Carmine Jumpman right in the middle. Icy blue outsole on these going throughout the length of the outsole. Very, very nice. And on the insole, classic Air Jordan 6 insole, all black with that white OG Nike Air branding on the heel. Listen guys, that's pretty much all that you get here. What you see is what you get. No extra laces, but you don't need any extra laces. Why? Because these are an Air Jordan 6 Harmon. No extra accessories in the box. Why? Because you don't need extra accessories in the box because these are an Air Jordan 6 Harmon OG. These are going to fly. And when I say they're going to fly, I mean they're going to vaporize off the shelf when they drop even at $200 a pop. Don't forget, these are slated to drop on February the 13th, 2021. Now, let's get into the history of the Carmine a little bit and an interesting fact that you probably didn't know about these. If you guys were around in 1991 and 1992, you guys remember that Michael Jordan was everywhere. He was quickly becoming a huge global superstar. He had his first NBA championship underneath his belt, which he won, of course, in the Air Jordan 6 in the black and infrared version. And he was coming back to do what only Detroit Detroit and LA had done in the previous 20 years, which is go back to back on NBA championships. And his first game, he started out that new season for 1991 and 1992 on November the 1st, 1991, wearing the Air Jordan 6 Carmine against the Philadelphia 76ers. And they won that game 110 to 90. Now, as I mentioned, these sneakers were iconic. No, Michael Jordan didn't technically win a championship or anything in this specific colorway. He ended up giving up this colorway and giving up this silhouette of the Jordan 6 to transition to the Jordan 7s around the time that the Dream Team went over to Barcelona to compete. But the funny thing about it, right, is that the Dream Team's media day photos Michael Jordan took in the Air Jordan 6 Carmine, but then he ended up playing overseas in the Air Jordan 
Jordan 7s. So it seems like he was really fond of this colorway and of this silhouette because he wore them a lot. You guys can look up any kind of Michael Jordan highlights between November of 1991 and around the All-Star break of 1992. And Michael Jordan was rocking these Carmines and he was doing some incredible things on the court. He had something to prove and he was proving it in the Carmines. So like I mentioned, this sneaker is super special because it's the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 6. Now, let's go back in time a little bit because as we all know, this is the fourth time, I believe, that the Carmine has actually come out. Of course, the OG released in November of 1991. Then you also had the 2008 CDP pack that include the Carmine 6s. Then you have the 2014 Carmine 6s that dropped, which I don't know why people keep forgetting the date. I've seen a lot of people call them the 2015 Carmines, but I'm not sure because if you guys remember, 2014 was the 23rd anniversary of the 1991 OG release. So how people couldn't really remember the 23 for the 23rd anniversary, well, it is what it is. But through all those releases, we have never gotten the OG Nike Air on the back of the shoe. And now we finally have it. And that's why I'm saying this sneaker is gonna fly off the shelves, not just because it's a Carmine, of course, because it's a Carmine 6, people are gonna love it. But because now you have Nike Air, you have the OG shape, you have the higher tongue on here. The OG sneaker heads are about to eat these for breakfast. People are gonna double up. And if you're a triple OG, you might actually end up tripling up on these because again, first time in 30 years, these have ever come out. You're gonna wanna get your hands on a few pairs of them. So if you guys are trying to get your hands on a pair of these, please don't sleep. A lot of people are saying they're a general release. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of pairs of these. As of today, they still haven't shot dropped yet, which is very interesting to me, but please don't sleep on these. Make sure you get your hands on them, enter all the raffles, do all the things that you're supposed to do to get your hands on a pair of these because I guarantee you when they drop, they are going to go. Now, rather than just tell you guys everything that I just told you, but a lot more slowly so that I could extend the time of the video, let me hit you guys with a very interesting fact about the Carmine 6s that you guys may not have known. And it has everything to do with where the color for Carmine actually comes from. We all have known the Carmines just to be the red and white Air Jordan 6s and nobody's really bothered to really kind of dig dig into where in the world was the inspiration behind these sneakers? Like, where did it come from? The Carmine color is actually a very interesting hue of red. It's a different kind of red because it's a much deeper red. It's a truer red than maybe some of your more pink reds that you may have seen, kind of like Infrared 23, how that's more pink than red. This right here, this Carmine color is a lot more red. And the color is actually derived from an insect, the cochineal insect. Some people call it a beetle, but please don't mistake it. It is not a beetle. It's a cochineal insect, and it's what people call a true bug. That bug is actually pretty native to Mexico and South America. Now that bug actually lives and thrives on cacti, specifically prickly pear cacti. Now if you guys are familiar with prickly pear cacti, it actually is a reddish kind of pinkish color. So because the cochineal bug feeds and thrives and lives off of the prickly pear cacti as it eats it, it actually changes the color inside of its body, turning it red. So a lot of dyes that are used in food and things of that nature, they actually use it from a ground up version of the cochineal bug. When they grind up that cochineal bug and they actually pour a little bit of water on it because it's been eating all that prickly pear cactus, it actually creates a very deep red paste that is known as carmine. Now, carmine is actually very harmless. It's an approved food additive and it's been used in a lot of food that you guys are already eating today. As a matter of fact, Starbucks got in trouble a little while ago for using carmine extract to actually put in its frappuccinos and a lot of its drinks that had a red color to it. Most famously, carmine extract is also used in Yoplait yogurt, specifically strawberry yogurt. The color of the yogurt being red actually is made to look like it's strawberry added into the yogurt, but it's actually carmine extract that makes the yogurt look red. There's also carmine extract in Jello and a bunch of other different foods. Look on the backs of your labels of anything you might be eating that's red and look to see if it says carmine extract again it's perfectly safe but that's actually where the inspiration behind the carmine six is from the color carmine is actually derived from ground up bugs the more you know right but whatever is created or crushed or ground up or whatever to create this color of carmine it is no doubt become an iconic color and an iconic silhouette of the air jordan 6. it's known loved appreciated and cherished throughout sneakerheads from old to new and as a sneakerhead i am really really excited not only to have my hands on these but to also go in for a double up probably because i'm gonna need a pair to put on ice of these because i don't know when we're gonna get the og version back again so big salute to 
Jordan brand for finally opening up the vault and giving us some of the 30 year OG versions of the sneakers that we grew up watching Michael Jordan wear on his feet and grew up loving to watch him play basketball in. In 2020, we got the Fire Red Air Jordan 4. And in 2021, we now have the OG Carmine 6s. I mean, how good is that? These are special guys. These are really, really special. So for all you resellers out there that are trying to get your hands on these, do what you do, get your money, it is what it is. But guys, listen, there's a lot of pairs of these, so hopefully you guys are not paying crazy ridiculous prices to get your hands on them. There are a good amount of pairs. Remember, sneaker reselling is traditionally a buyer's market. Keep that in mind that you hold the power when it comes to determining the prices for these sneakers. A sneaker's only worth what you're willing to pay for it. All right, guys, listen, that is pretty much all that I got about these. Now it's time for you guys to sound off down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the 2021 Air Jordan 6 Carmines. Are you guys excited for these to drop on February the 13th at a retail price of $200? Are these a must cop for you? Are these a must cop for the family? Remember, these are dropping all the way down to toddler sizes so the whole family can get fresh in a pair of OG. Sound off, let me know. Oh, of course, right down in the comments, make sure that you click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the Sneaker Fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because I guarantee you I got a lot more heat on the way. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Take a look at these with me, unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the 2021 Air Jordan 6 Carmine OG. And until next time, I'm out.